Once upon a time, a father and his two young daughters were living together in a land far, far away. One of the girls was very diligent, and the other was very lazy. He barely help at all, and I'm exhausted. Oh no! You are already doing the cleaning! Why should I get my hands dirty now? Their old father was a hard worker, and he was always tired. The only meal they had was soup and some dry bread in the evenings. One day, the old father made a request of his daughters. My dear daughters, you know, I love you both so very much. I've been thinking. You are both adults now, and it is time for you to take more responsibility. I want both of you to find a job and work. You are right, Daddy. I will find myself a job. And what about you, my daughter? My sister should get a job, because, you know, that's so her thing. But I think I'd better do the housework, Daddy. The old man was happy to see his daughters so eager. The next day, while the diligent girl left home to find a job, her father came to her. My dear daughter, I have some advice for you. Never refuse someone who asks you for help. Always be diligent. Love your job. Do the job that was given to you to the best of your abilities. Thank you, Daddy. I will never forget your advice. That's my girl. Bye-bye. The diligent daughter set off to find her job, while the lazy daughter, who said that she would do the household chores, did nothing. The house was getting more and more messy and getting dirty every day. Hmm. The diligent girl walked for days, but had not found anyone to work for. After a while, the diligent girl saw a tree with dried branches and roots. Hello, young girl. Can you clean my dry branches and give me some water to my roots? The diligent girl then cleaned all the dry branches of the tree until her palms were bruised and watered the roots with her own drinking water. Ah, uh, thank you, young girl. But now you have no water left. It's okay. You needed help, and I helped you. I can walk a little more and find water for myself. The diligent girl continued on her way. Farther on, she came across a hearth with broken and cracked parts. Hey, young girl, can you repair me and make me look better? The diligent girl took a handful of mud near her and patched all the cracks on the hearth. Thank you, young girl. But you got so dirty because of me. Oh, it's okay. Clothes don't matter. You needed help. And I helped. The diligent girl left the brand new hearth behind and continued on her way. After a while, a lovely lamb appeared. But the lamb was black, like coal, from head to toe. Hello, young girl. I accidentally got into the coals and got dirty. Would you bathe me in that lake over there? The diligent girl washed the lamb by the lake. The lamb was white and soft as before. Thank you, but you're drenched because of me. You needed help, and I helped. I was already very dirty. Now I'm cleaner. The diligent girl continued on her way. When it got dark, she came across a beautiful house where seven fairies lived. The diligent girl entered. Hello. I apologize for coming to your home without permission. I am a young girl looking for a job to work. 
You can work here if you want, young girl. There are seven rooms in our house. You will only clean six rooms every day. But you must not go into the seventh room. The diligent girl accepted the job. She cleaned six rooms diligently every day. As Fairy said, for a full year. She never entered the seventh room. And when she had enough money, she asked permission from the fairies to return home. Of course, young girl, you can go home. I'm wondering why you never entered the seventh room. My father used to say to do the job right, no matter what. During my time here, my job was to clean only six rooms. And that's what I did. That's what you told me to do. We would like to reward you for your honesty and diligence. Come on, come with us. The fairies asked the young girl to enter the seventh room. When the girl entered, she saw a lot of silver and gold coins. Now, you roll around in these coins, and any that stick to you will be yours. Diligent girl tumbled left and right in coins. She looked almost like a star with the money sticking on her. Then the diligent girl left the fairies to return home. On the way, she came across the lamb she had washed before. The lamb was covered with pearls. I did not forget your help, young girl. Take and get as many pearls as you want. The diligent girl thanked the lamb and covered her arms and neck with pearls and continued on her way. This time, she came across the hearth she had previously repaired. I did not forget the help you gave me, young girl. Take it, my warm breads. My lovely cakes are yours. The diligent girl ate some of the bread given by the hearth and took some of it to take home and continued on her way. A little further ahead, she saw the tree. Its branches were covered with fruit. Come, young girl. I did not forget the help you gave me. Take it. All my grape juice is yours. The diligent girl thanked the tree and finally returned home. Her father and lazy sister greeted her at the door. The girl's bundle was full of gold and pearls. The lazy sister was very jealous when she saw that her sister was so rich. Look at all those coins. I must go find a wealthy family to get a job from. If my sister has pearls, I will get emeralds. The lazy girl told her father that she is leaving home to look for a job. Oh, uh, okay, my daughter. But you couldn't even work at home. How will you find a job out there? The lazy girl left before her dad could even finish talking. She walked day and night. A little further down the road, she came across a tree with dry branches. The tree asked the girl for help. Oh, hello, young girl. Would you clean my- Huh? I can't deal with you under the sun. My hair will get messy. Bye! The lazy girl moved on. She saw a cracked and broken hearth a little further. Hearth asked her for help. I can't get my thin and delicate hands dirty for you. My nail polish goes bad. Bye! The lazy girl did not help the hearth either. Then she came across a lamb that was dirty like black coal. And the lamb asked her to give her a bath. Ew! Disgusting! Get out of my way, you dirty thing! The lazy girl ran away. And came 
upon a huge house. The lazy girl took advantage of this and asked for work from the seven fairies who were the owners of the house. The head fairy asked her to stay for a year and clean only six rooms. Don't forget, young girl, you will never ever be able to enter the seventh room. The lazy girl reluctantly cleaned all six rooms for months. However, one day she gave in to her curiosity and entered the seventh room. Instead of gold and silver coins, there were bees and bats inside. The bees stung the lazy girl in such a way that she was scarred all over. She was very hurt. The girl immediately left there and started running towards the house. As she ran, she saw the lamb, which she turned down her request for help. The lamb was covered with pearls. The girl wanted to catch the lamb to get some pearls, but the lamb ran away from her. The girl continued walking and was very tired. At that moment, she came across the hearth that she turned down that requested her help. There were loaves of fresh warm bread on the hearth. When the girl wanted to buy a slice of bread, the hearth got hot and lazy girl's hands got burned. Ah! When the lazy girl ran away from there, she came across the tree which she had refused to help. There were bunches of fruit on the branches of the tree. When the lazy girl tried to pick some fruit, the tree leaned to the right. The girl ran to the right, but the tree leaned to the left this time. Tired of running around, the lazy girl finally gave up on getting the fruit. She walked non-stop for two full days and finally got home. Her father and sister saw her returning home in dirty clothes and injured, and they were very surprised. The lazy girl told what happened to her with great regret. Oh, and I can't believe it. I hurt so much. Oh. My dear sister, now you understand how important it is to be hardworking. Remember, girl, when you are honest and hardworking in this life, you will be rewarded for sure. After that day, the lazy girl has not been idle and lazy since. The two sisters both worked hard and were rewarded well. And this small family had happy, productive, and peaceful days throughout their lives. <laughs>